Hello everyone, it's NFT Pixels here today with an exciting update on the latest 1.6 release for the Chainsafe Unity SDK. The purpose of today's video is to show you how you can register your project with the dashboard, uh, or the Chainsafe dashboard to be more specific, um, an analytical tool to help us improve our product um, and be of better help when you guys get in trouble, get stuck with some of the, the calls and commands. Um, now you'll see here that I've got an open project, brand new, uh, with an error here just mentioning that my project ID is not valid and that I need to proceed to the dashboard in order to, uh, in order to get a, uh, a new ID. Now, this process is fairly simple. All we have to do is we can actually go to window, go to Chainsafe service settings, and the window should appear here that Sneaks have organized for us. Very tidy, by the way, very good Sneaks, um, with all the, I guess, public variables that you can fill out that will be used across the rest of the scripts. Now, I don't have a project ID, so the first thing I need to do is actually register. Uh, so we can simply go to dashboard.gaming.chainsafe.io, enter the email address we want to register with. So in this case, I will use an example email address. Uh, let me just make sure that's correct. Perfect. Okay, so I'll just use this example at untitledplatformer.io email address to register my product or my account. Apologies. So I'll log in with an email address. It's saying, cool, we need to verify this email address. Uh, a code should be sent to that email. We'll just give it a quick moment to, um, to pop up properly. There we go. There's our confirmation code. Grab that. Verify our account. Perfect. So I don't have any project IDs. It's a brand new account. So the first thing I have to do now is actually add my project ID for this new build or game that I'm building. I can go ahead and create my project. I can give it a name. For instance, I can do, uh, let's do registration test, create project, easy peasy. It gives us a project ID. We can actually go ahead and copy this, go back to our Unity build, and then enter our project ID right here. Now, for instance, I can enter my chain ID, which is chain set off uh, Kronos' testnet. I can say Kronos, the network for um, the Kronos I want to target is the testnet, and the RPC would be whatever custom RPC you might want to use. For instance, Matic, uh, Polygon uses its own custom RPC, so you do have the option to, to enter that in there. The last step, of course, being we just need to save our settings. So if we click on save our settings, we'll note that our settings are saved and um, we are now registered. Uh, and it's pretty much as simple as that to get your project ID registered. But if you've got any questions, just feel free to ask us within the Discord and we'll see how we can help.